Hello everybody, this is Mark with the Tech Chat again. Uh, this time I'm going to go over installing uh, a Miracast video adapter to use with the Surface Pro 3 that I received a few weeks ago. Um, I have chosen the Belkin uh, version and I'm just going to go through the uh, setup of it to see how easy it is. This is completely from scratch, I have no idea what I'm doing, so let's see how easy this is for someone who's never done this before. Okay, for those of you who were paying attention, you'll notice that there were a couple uh, pieces of tape over there that I was missing. So, yeah. Alright, so we pop open the box here. We've got the uh, quick install guide. We've got the uh, Belkin unit itself here with some plastic on it. We'll go ahead and take that off. And we've got a uh, USB cable for power. So hang on a second while we get that uh, unwrapped here. And if your TV has... Uh, USB ports that have power output, then you should be fine. Um, I'm just going to see if mine puts out enough power. I've got a couple USB ports on my TV. So we recently uh, removed DirecTV, or turned off DirecTV on our house, so I have an extra HDMI port in the back of the back of the TV here. So I'll just pop that on. I'm going to plug the USB cable in here. And plug in power. There we go. Okay, that's plugged in. Okay, I've turned on the, uh, the TV, so I believe there's LEDs somewhere on this thing. That should light up when it has power. And it hasn't lit up yet. It's right over here, actually. So as far as I can see, my, my uh, USB should put out 5 volts 1 amp here. Which, uh, unless I'm mistaken, should be enough power. There we go. Alrighty, sorry about that. TV just took a few minutes to get, uh, a few seconds to get power uh, to the adapter. So it is, it is on and ready to go. So hang on a second while I move the TV around and we'll look at the interface. Alrighty, as we can see the, uh, the adapter is ready to go here. So it's telling me to, uh, to go to settings on the uh, device and select this particular adapter. So let's go to the uh, Surface Pro and let's see how it works. Hang on one sec. Alrighty, so here we got the Surface Pro. And we're going to go to settings. Let me zoom out there. And we're going to go to change PC settings. And we're going to go to PC and devices. And devices. And we are going to add, uh, let's see, we're going to add a device here. And it's searching for devices. And it found the uh, the Samsung 1F9D, which is listed as a television, which is which is actually the same name uh, that the Miracast adapter was selecting there. So we're connecting. As we can see on the uh, TV, there it is. It is connecting. So that's a good thing. We'll see. There we go. Connection successful. And there it is. Alrighty, while I was fiddling around with stuff, trying to get the uh, Surface Pro 3 ready to do the, my little demo here, it actually disconnected from the Miracast uh, adapter, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add it back in here. So now it's trying to connect. And I think it's connected, at least as far as the, there we go, as far as the Surface Pro 3 is con concerned. Alrighty, so now we are mirroring the Surface Pro 3, as we can see everything there is working. There's a little bit of a lag. Um, so... As people have noted, um, this isn't necessarily uh, something you want to use for gaming, for sure. Um, personally, I'm really looking at it more as uh, as a way to uh, to shoot videos over. Um, so here we have uh, here we have Netflix. Uh, let's see, my son was watching this this morning. So, so there we go. Okay, it took a little bit, uh, a little while for the uh, video to queue up there. where we live. Come on, trust me. The video is a little pixelated. I am connected on, uh, on a five uh, gigahertz band here. It's out there. So there's a little bit of choppiness to the video. Sounds cutting out. You really are from the future. 
You didn't believe me? Of course not. I thought you were insane and possibly dangerous. And cute. So what? was it scary? You know, traveling through time? Nah. Takes a lot to travel a turkey like So I would have to say that the quality leaves a little bit to be desired on the oh, surface pad yeah. through. Three, the quality is excellent. Let me turn the volume down here. But on the uh, mirror cast adapter, it's actually a little bit pixelated. And there is some uh, chopping, uh, choppiness to the sound. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on here. Um, I shouldn't have very much uh, congestion on this particular network. Um, I'm going to pause this and try something else here. Alrighty, I'm going to give uh, Hulu a try here and see how it does. Uh, let's see, what can we watch? Let's watch this trailer of uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. And there's actually quite a bit of choppiness to the sound. And to the video, and the video is now pixelating quite a bit. Okay, not really terribly impressed with the performance of the uh, Miracast adapter here. A lot of choppiness to the video, things are cutting out. Um, certainly compared to Chromecast on uh, Android tablets, this doesn't really compare all that well. Um, it might be improving here, maybe, maybe again there was more buffering. Uh, as far as, as, as sheer screen mirroring goes, if you were going to use this for presentations or things like that, I think you'd probably be pretty happy with it. Uh, certainly seems to work fairly well. Um, again, there is that pause. Quality is acceptable. Um, it has fit. It has fit the uh, the image to the screen. There's a little bit of cut off at, at the top and the bottom. Um, I actually have some letterboxing on the uh, Surface Pro 2. It's 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 reset the resolution to fit the TV. Um, um, but it would work well enough. Again. If you wanted to use it for presentations and such, uh, let me look at the res screen resolution here and see what it's done. So it has set it to 1920 by 1080. Um, it is chopping off at the bottom and at the top. Uh, I'm not really sure why it's doing that if it's set it to the, uh, the native resolution of the TV. Um, let me see if I extend the display, which has an which I have to scroll on here to apply. Now I've extended, hasn't made any difference. Um, the Surface Pro 2, 3, I'm sorry, still, uh, it, it, it went back to its, its native resolution. And the external monitor, which is the TV, is at 1920 by 1080, which is where it should be. Um, but again, it is chopping off at the top and the bottom, so it's actually not scaling correctly. Um, so overall, uh, the setup of the Miracast uh, adapter was pretty easy. Um, but as I'm looking at it now, I'm not really seeing performance to be all that great. Video was choppy, sound was cutting in and out. Um, I'm extended the screen and I've mirrored the screen. And, and, and in both cases, the screen is getting chopped off at the top of the bottom. Um, there might be adjustments that can be made, but out of the box, I have to say that I'm, I'm, I'm probably not terribly impressed with this, uh, with this adapter. I'm going to play around with it a little bit more and I will, I will update the notes on this video if I can get anything resolved. Um, but for now, I'm, I'm going to say that I'm not too terribly impressed, and this and this Belkin Miracast adapter is probably going to end up going back to uh, Amazon. Um, so there you have it. Uh, any questions, comments? Uh, please let me know. Uh, there you have it. If you're were considering a, a Belkin Miracast adapter to use with a Surface Pro 3, or probably maybe any other Windows 8.1 device, you might you might want to. You might want to, you know, make sure you buy it from somewhere with a good return policy. And give it a shot yourself. Um, and so far, my my experience hasn't been all that terribly positive. So thanks a lot. Mark with the tech chat. Take care. Bye bye.